G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you've been keeping well. And as I record this video a little bit ahead of time, I hope the world hasn't descended into absolute chaos uh, with uh, the news of President Trump having COVID. Uh, I'm, I'm actually shooting this video just a few hours after learning that news and the video is not going up until many days later God knows what's happened in that intervening time. This is me in the past hoping that uh, when you're watching this, things aren't too bad because the world's so volatile right now, it's really hard to be sure. And of course, if someone watches this way into the future, you'll know what I'm talking about because this in a year where far too much has happened, the President of the United States getting uh, a, an illness that stands a really good chance of making him either uh, really sick for a really long time or killing him. That's still the biggest news story of the year. Who would have thought with everything else that happened, the biggest news story was still to come. And who knows, maybe something bigger is going to happen after this. Who knows, but I'm going to go for distraction time. Let's make a cocktail. Now, Sunday this week uh, has been declared to be a World Vodka Day, and, and why not, I say. Uh, and I don't uh, put videos up on a Sunday, so I didn't make one straight away, but I thought, no, I should make, let's just say it's Vodka Week. I'm going to make a vodka cocktail. How do we ever make vodka cocktails? Well, because there's, honestly, there's not that much to vodka. But I was looking through some vodka recipes online, and I found one, and as soon as I saw the name, I had to make it. Sometimes it is, it's the name of the cocktail that grabs my attention. And this one was called Wanton Abandon. And I have to be honest, I had to make it when I saw that. Well, if the ingredients had sounded terrible, maybe I wouldn't have, but the ingredients sounded pretty good. So that's what I'm gonna make for you now. It's a relatively simple uh, cocktail to make. I've taken a bit of extra trouble with some of the ingredients, but I will show you now. Let's make a wanton abandon vodka cocktail. Vodka is the only spirit in this cocktail. And this is a little vodka infusion I've made. It's been infused with strawberries, uh, juice and strawberries, and uh, the pulp that was left behind after juicing them. I uh, soaked in some vodka, and this is what we ended up with some uh, strawberry infused vodka. So I'm putting two ounces of the vodka into this cocktail. We're also putting three quarters of an ounce, 22 and a half mils of lemon juice in this cocktail. So uh, some I squeezed a little bit earlier. So by pulling this a bit, three quarters of an ounce, 22 and a half mils of lemon juice. Now we come to the fun bit. This cocktail has strawberries and sugar syrup in the recipe. The recipe said, uh, you know, cut up some strawberries, hull them, and muddle them in your cocktail shaker. And what I've done, rather than doing that, is I've macerated some cocktails. Uh, some cocktails, I've macerated some strawberries. What that means is instead of using sugar syrup, I've actually uh, covered them in caster sugar and that draws all the moisture out of the strawberries and turns the sugar into a syrup. And it also really softens the strawberries. So rather than muddle the strawberries, I'm just going to add them to the cocktail shaker. And the deal is they're already quite soft. So when I add the ice and shake it, that will really pulverize the strawberries and get some flavor happening. So uh, there's no need to actually muddle them in this case. But if you don't want it, this doesn't take long. This is like half an hour. Sprinkle some sugar on top of the strawberries, leave it for about half an hour. But if you're not going to do that, by all means, yes, muddle the strawberries first, then add everything else in the sugar syrup. Uh, for me, rather than uh, 15 mils of sugar syrup, I've done uh, about 10 grams of sugar on top and these are now going into the cocktail shaker. We add a good amount of ice to the cocktail shaker, uh, put the lid on. Now, because we really wanna pulverize those strawberries, we're gonna shake it a little bit longer than I normally would. A good hard shake for about 15 to 20 seconds. I've got a coupe glass, I've been chilling in the freezer. 
you don't need to be too constrained with the glass we're using this you could use a martini glass you could even use uh, a tall glass like a Collins glass with a lot of ice if that's how you wanted to serve it I'm gonna serve it up in the coupe and of course because of the likelihood of little bits of strawberry going in the drink I'm going to double strain it using the Hawthorne and a fine strainer I mean honestly unless you like the pulpy bits in the drink uh, you could put this like do a dirty dump straight into a tall glass I'm sure that would be a great drink in and of itself. I'm going to double strain, fine strain this into the coupe now. Now that isn't quite all to the drink. The original recipe said to top with brewed champagne. As I've mentioned in other videos, I don't like champagne, which means I don't have any because why would I have something I don't like? So I'm gonna to top it with uh, the People's Champagne, AKA a sparkling apple cider. This is uh, a local brand, the Flying Brick, one of my favorite ciders, as made uh, just outside of Melbourne, past Geelong on the Billerine Peninsula. So I'm just gonna to top my glass with some sparkling cider. But by all means, if you're a fan of the sparkling wine or the brewed champagne, uh, go for that as well. But now I'm going to give it a taste. The Wanton Abandon. Mmm, fresh strawberries. Oh, you can really tell there's a real difference between fresh strawberry and like a strawberry syrup. Even though like I added the sugar, it's not as sickly as a strawberry syrup would be. But all means you could make this with a strawberry syrup if you didn't have access to fresh strawberries. By sheer coincidence, uh, this happens to be peak strawberry season in Australia, so they're really cheap. Uh, and that's one of the things that did inspire me to make this, besides the fantastic name of the cocktail, the Wanton Abandon. But yeah, the, the draft cider or, you know, a dry cider or a dry brute champagne, is a really nice contrast with the strawberry. Of course, the vodka is uh, completely neutral and... Mm. Well, I don't think I'd be into wanton abandon with just one, but it's such a light, refreshing drink. I think I could easily be talked into downing several of these. Then the wanton abandon may well set in. I'm just telling you for that. Ah, so... Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I think this is well worth making, this one. It's very light, fruity, and of course, this is where vodka comes into its own, because no real strong flavor of its own being a neutral spirit. But you know, it's got the kick in there. Two ounces of vodka, uh, you're going to uh, remember you drank it afterwards, or if you have several of them, you'll forget you drank them. But uh, yeah, this is uh, quite a nice drink. Um, and yeah, if you don't make vodka cocktails very often, and I certainly don't, this one is worth trying. Uh, so I hope to see you again soon. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, it'd be great if you did subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload videos. Tell your friends, tell your family, grab total strangers in the street and tell them that they should subscribe. Don't, they'll punch you. Um, but uh, if you're going to, do it from a good uh, socially responsible distancing while wearing a mask because Trump mocked that shit and where did that get him? I usually don't do politics here, but we are living in weird and strange times. Oh, I don't want to dwell on it too much. It is, it is just, who knew we were going to live through such he historically significant times? Not me, once we got past the 80s and 90s and didn't have a nuclear war, I thought things were gonna calm down. Apparently not, but at least we can have cocktails to see us through. I'm gonna finish off my wanton abandon. I hope to say, I hope you take care. I hope to see you soon. Cheers.